All right, hey y'all, I am back with the uh, season five, episode six of I think episode six of Black Ink Crew Chicago. Um, I'm almost a week late with this one, so it's really old and um, it's been all over social media and there's been a lot about it. Um, I haven't watched anybody else's review of it, but just watching the preview from last week, um, this is one episode that I'm not really excited about just because the content is very heavy and there's a lot going on. So I'm just going to try to get through it just, just to get through it. All right. So we start with, um, producers and everybody just being in a mad dash looking for four. Um, basically he's missing at this stage of the game. Um, just from, just from seeing on social media, we know that four and a lot of his family members suffer from, uh, depression and this is going to be a lot of what he's dealing with this episode. So, um, it's not gonna be fun. All right. So moving on. And, uh, basically it's the last day of there being in Vegas, Vegas and Charmaine just throws a party and, um, well, before we get to the party, Charmaine wakes up and she lets everybody know that she lost her Diva Cup, which, why do we need to know that? And she gives Bella a crash course on what a Diva Cup is and what it is used for. And moving on, Van tells Ryan that he... Van tells Ryan that he doesn't know what his relationship status is with Jen because he hasn't seen her since she stormed out of the uh, the wedding chapel, um, which I guess that should be an indication of where y'all stand. He showed up drunk um, to your wedding day. And, uh, yeah, so Ryan just gives him advice, letting him know, you know, he knows what it feels like to be in a certain relationship that has been uh, part of the course for him and Rachel for years and years. So he gives him advice, whatever. All right, so now they are having a party kickback or whatever at the airbnb and junior and his girlfriend adriana show up and lily um i guess she might be in her bag about it a little bit all right whatever who cares about lily and adriana we'll get to them later um we we move on to don and he is supposed to be meeting up with his dad um uh, because his dad has um much like four and his sister and don's sister that committed suicide a couple years ago his dad is suffering from depression because he recently lost his mom and his brother. So Don is taking it upon himself to kind of meet up with, his, hang out with his dad and, you know, just, just take his mind off of things. So he's sitting in the hookah bar and he's having some drinks and his dad, um, his dad never shows up. So that's, that's unfortunately unfortunate. So, um, while Don's sitting there, he also lets us know, lets us know that four is suffering from depression as well, from, you know, because of his own, um, his own situation so um we can assume that don and four have the same dad um and not the same mom we'll get into why a little bit later towards the uh end of the review all right so and again if i'm I'm looking off it's because i gotta read my notes because i can't remember shit um and caveating from don letting us know his dad and four have um bad depression he lets us know i don't remember seeing this picture on don's social media not or Don for on four social media, but it let, lets us know that um, Don has a new single out called Help, which that's pretty self-explanatory itself, and it's also a picture of a noose around his neck, and that kind of um, was a warning sign for Don that maybe four kind of needs some help. I guess he's been suffering from from depression for um, since he's been a young guy, so. Yeah, so Don is, Don is concerned, and unfortunately, he wants to kind of be Superman to everybody. He wants to save everyone, even though there's not much that he can do. So, yeah. Moving on, Lily um, decides that she's going to apologize to Adriana, which is Junior's girlfriend, the same girl that she got into the uh, street brawl with back in Jamaica, and they accept and they take shots, and she, then Lily moves on to apologize to Junior, whatever, whatever. Ryan lets Lily know that, hey, Junior, Junior's coming back to the shop. Is that okay now that you guys are made up? And um, that halts the apology, and Lily is now back in her bag. Hmm. So, um, yeah, moving on. So, Don decides he's going to pull up at his dad at home because his dad did not show up to um, to to what, wherever they were supposed to go for lunch. And, um, he realizes that his dad never even bothered to leave the house, which, which lets him know, like, there's actually a lot going on in his head and he's, he's, he's not in a good headspace. So, um, 
his dad kind of lets him know that his spirit is kind of broken. He doesn't really have the energy to do anything. Um, he, he's not interested in much of anything. So uh, Don lets him know, like, you know, something needs to change and we got to get you out of this this funk. And his dad lets him know, like, hey, yeah, sometimes I do need a push, you know. Um, so Don offers him to come and stay with him and Ashton and the kids so that he's not so alone and he's not by himself. And his dad actually agrees to take, like, a week or two off and... You know, just for a different atmosphere to kind of get get out of his head and feel better about things. So that's really good that his dad decided to to actually go and on a small scale, you know, get some help or at least to change his environment. So that that was a good thing. All right, so moving on, we're back to the party and Charmaine is lit as usual and runs slamming to a glass door. She stayed doing hurt hurting herself for doing something weird. So whatever. Jen pops up at the party and she says she she wasn't going to just hide away in the corner because she feels whatever she feels about Van. And, you know, so she still showed up at the party and we know she's going to be there in Van. We knew Van was going to be drunk. Van pulls her to the side and um, she lets her know that she's tired of talking. She's tired of wasting her time. She's tired of making decisions about her life um, that, that revolve around van and that her friends see him and she hates him when he's with her friends and she just kind of clicks out on him and you know turns up really bad and she hates when he's drunk she hates his decisions make his decision making skills and he doesn't consider her um blah 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 all van can do at this point is just sit there and take it she's she's absolutely right still still gonna fall on deaf ears because she's they've been together for what nine ten years um all of which the same stuff has happened has happened in the midst of a jail sentence for Van, so I don't think much is going to change. Moving on. Alright, so we are still at the party and Lily is um, back in her feelings and she goes to the garage in a corner somewhere and she's crying. And Adriana says, hey, um, what's wrong with you? Why are you in here crying? What's what's the problem? And she basically just lets Lily know, like, I, me and Junior are not together, but I still have feelings for him. You know, I, I, I still feel a ways just seeing you guys together. And um, Adriana lets her know, hey, I feel her. I won. She lost. I don't think she's, I don't think that was shade, but sounded like shade, whatever. And, um, she lets us, she literally lets Adriana know, Hey, since we're being honest, when you guys first started together, Drew did text me saying he still loved me and he wanted to be in a relationship and blah, 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 blah. So now Adriana is, is turned. Now she got an attitude with Junior and, um, and Junior shows up like, Hey, what y'all doing? Playing patty cake. And, um, Adriana's like, Hey, why didn't you tell me that, you know, you were still reaching out to Lily at the beginning of our relationship? Blah, 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 whoop, de whoop, and Junior gets all mad with Lily, and I feel like Lily's telling the truth because I feel like she is. Um, and Junior gets upset, and he kind of, like, gets up in her face, and Adrian is kind of pushing him away, pushing him away and telling him to, you know, basically scram. Alright, this is, this is, this is the part of the episode that I was least looking forward to, but also most looking forward to. Just kind of seeing how people will handle the situation and how things will go. So it's 2 a.m. on their last night being in the house. And um, Charmaine and producers kind of kind of knock on Ford's door because they hear him and they're crying. And he's he's having like a major breakdown. And, you know, Charmaine is standing outside the door and he lets him know, like, I don't feel good. I don't feel like being here. You know, I think I would be better off dead. And he eventually lets her in. And, um... And Charmaine kind of notices what Don noticed with the with the noose and the song help and things that he posted on his social media and realized that realized that Ford probably needs some help at this stage of the game and um there there is there is something don't ask me how I know when you talk about we not get into that there is something in Ford's eyes that told me he had given up. It was something in his eyes that let me know he he was a he he wasn't far from from committing suicide. There there was something in his eyes that were that was blank. There was something in his spirit that was empty and I am before I go any further, I am happy that they got to him and that they intervened and just because just because of what he said a little bit later on in the episode, um we'll we'll get into it. But um, he, he kind of lets Ryan, I think Ryan, Ryan and Charmaine are in the room with one of the producers at this point. He lets them know like, Hey, I would feel more, more, I feel more valuable. I feel more respected if I were, I were gone. Um, and, 
and Ryan just kind of he puts everybody out of the room respectfully and um he basically has a heart to heart before and lets him know like hey I'm not going nowhere I've been taking you on as my brother my little brother and I'm you're not you're not by yourself basically and they, you know they kind of have a heart to heart and I really appreciate Charmaine Van and Ryan in situation because they really stepped up and they did not allow him to for lack of a better term they didn't allow him to wallow in how he felt even though he still felt how he felt he wasn't he didn't get to process it alone, which I guess when you're depressed, being by yourself and being in the dark and being in a, alone is not the best state of mind to be in just based on independent research, whatever. Um, and Ryan also goes on to let us know this isn't his first rodeo with four, you know, kind of having suicidal thoughts and being in depression, which, which definitely worries me because what happens Without him getting some type of professional or chemical or some other type of help, some kind of balance, what's going to happen in the event that Ryan or Four or Don or Van or any of those people are not tied to his hips? So he he's going to have to find some type of a um, coping me mechanism. And I you know I've seen him on Snapchat and Instagram, and he looks like he's doing much better, which is great. So I'm I'm going to operate under the assumption that he's he's gotten some help, but um. He lets us know that that night his plan was to, I don't recall, I don't remember if he said drive or drown. Either way, his plan was to essentially drown in the pool that was at the Airbnb. And that, that, that kind of chills through my spine. Like to know, like at some point during that night, four had planned on killing himself. And it just so happened that Charmaine and the producers intervened in the situation and uh got to him in time i ain't crying this my eyes itching um and again charmaine did really good she didn't allow him to be out, be by herself she got some other people involved when she couldn't get through to him and they handled this very well a lot of the show is fake and a lot of reality tv is just made up shit but this was good this was a class act and i believe every word that this man said i believe everything that he felt and um they did a good job they did a good job doing their best um and van tells him you know hey you need to get some some professional help and forge just he, he's in the place where he he just wants to go to sleep that's that's all he wants um and Charmaine is you know Charmaine intervenes and says hey he needs to get immediate help going to sleep right now is not going to make it better however i understand what four is saying for is he's probably been crying all night he's probably been down all night like you could even tell when the camera was throughout the night when they were at the party when the camera would pan back and forth to back and forth to four's face maybe that was production but you could see like his energy his levels were down he wasn't excited like he's always the life of the party or he's on the mic or he's dancing with somebody like that night he was not four so, you know, he, he probably had that on his mind all night. Like, okay, I have a plan to kill myself. When everybody's leave, when everybody's gone, this pool is how it's going to happen. This is what I'm going to do. So, um, physically, mentally, I think, I think he was just tired. He literally just wanted to go to sleep. So, you know, the plan was, Ben was like, okay, I'll let him get some sleep. Charmaine was like, I, I think it's a, he should go see somebody right now, which it's two o'clock in the morning. I doubt that anybody will be open outside the emergency room. I don't, I'm not a specialist. I don't know. So, um. Van says, hey, this is a compromise. I'm going to sleep at the foot of the bed. You're going to get some sleep. I'm going to stay with y'all night. Charmaine, we'll see you in the morning. So, you know, they agree. Everybody, you know, spreading love. I love you for you. are not by yourself. Great. And, you know, that that that's good. That, that's, that was a good thing. All right. So, at some point after the commercial break, I mean, we're back from the final commercial break, I guess. Um... At some point during the night, Four is able to get out of the house. And I'm just going to assume that, I mean, Van was there and he was asleep at the foot of the bed. And yes, he was, you know, watching him. But at some point, we, we just have to assume that Van fell asleep and Four just simply walked out of the house. So there is a mad dash and producers are basically on this massive hunt to find Four. I mean, which is understandable, like not maybe a few hours ago he had already said he wanted to kill himself and then everybody goes to sleep and comes back and he's gone so they could only assume the worst at this at this stage of the game so 20 minutes go by and nobody can get in touch with four and um 
so what they have no at this point they have no choice but to call the cops to kind of find him and to call Don just to let them know like the status of what's happening with their brother and Don just lets them know like you know this is this is for like he he's not going to say how he feels until he feels comfortable and sometimes it needs to be you know alone to process it and all these other things so Don is familiar with you know with how to deal with for but he's he, he's also not there he's also not in Las Vegas he's still back home in Chicago so they you know they say Don you know call your brother check on your brother let us know and you know they all hang up the phone 40 minutes later van hears back from four and he tells van like hey i want you to come where i'm at but don't bring any cameras don't bring anyone just you and um luckily cameras production they they respect that because you know normally they want to get the good footage they want to get the good action so i applaud them in giving him his space and allowing that to happen so they um they let it happen they never disclose location van goes alone a camera doesn't go with them and then, you know, kind of calls production back and lets them know, um, we're going to Atlanta. Foy wants to be with his mom. He wants, which lets us know, like, his mom isn't, his mom isn't Don's mom, I guess. I'm going to assume. Let's just assume Foy's mom isn't Don's mom and they have the same dad. So he's going to be with his mom and his sisters in Atlanta. And, um, he wants Van to go with them. So Van's going to accompany him to Atlanta you know, they're going to catch a flight and they're going to go with they do what they need to do. And, you know, Van has definitely agreed to accompany him, you know, so he doesn't have to go through it alone. At some point, and production lets you know, you know, which, whatever you guys need, I'm here, we're here. Good, good, good show of support. At some point, the rest of the house wakes up and Bella and all the other people and, um, Charmaine wants to keep them abreast of what's happening, but she also kind of wants to respect force privacy and doesn't give them all the tea so she lets them know hey our brother force suffered depression right now he's gonna go home to atlanta to visit his family and that's it that's just all the details she give them and you know that that's good enough for everybody they just you know send him real wishes and tell you know tell everybody to let let him know like we're we're, we're thinking of him and he's supported and he's loved and all these good things and um so they're packing up to leave um, cause this is the last day and it's kind of somber, you know, just, just coming off of what they came off the night before. Um, everybody's packing up to leave Vegas and at the end they let us know that four has taken a leave of absence from a leave of absence from the show, which is probably in his best mental health at the moment. So that is good. Just him knowing that he needs to walk away. Cause you know, sometimes being on this camera and having a, having a camera in every aspect of your life and you know it's probably a, a, a cocktail of things that's happening like his music isn't doing what he wants it to do and Nikki broke what broke up with him and people on the internet are, are calling him all these different names because of the video he sent out and Nikki's over here with, with 50 cent like I'm sure that ha that didn't happen at the time that this 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 aired but it's a concoction happening right now. So I'm glad he decided that it's time for him to take a leave of absence and he'll come back when he's better. So I just have to leave this episode on that note because I'll see y'all next week.